Japan's economy is at critical stage on whether IT can achieve a positive wage inflation cycle. Our baseline scenario is for the key driver of inflation to gradually switch and strengthen the virtuous wage inflation cycle. The current policy framework has big stimulative effect on the economy, but at times could cause big side effects. Our basic stance is that we must patiently maintain monetary easing. The odd in September 2023. The Australian dollar to US dollars 1.9 cents range in September was the narrowest since the 1.74 cents October 2019 range. Still, the USD was in the driving seat, fueled by higher for longer Fed messaging. The odd in September. The Australian dollar to US dollars 1.9 cents range in September was the narrowest since the 1.74 cents October 2019 range, chart 1. This encompassed a high of 0.6522, September 2nd, and a low of 0.6332, 27th of September, the latter a new year-to-date low. U.S. dollar to Japanese yen forecast, yen finds breathing room amidst intervention whispers highlights U.S. dollar to Japanese yen saw a 0.58% decline on Tuesday, with highs at 150.160 and lows reaching 147.273. Speculation hints at intervention, creating notable gains for the yen amidst lingering uncertainty. A rise in US ADP numbers and the ISM non-manufacturing PMI could significantly influence the USD. Official cash rate remains at 5.50%. The Monetary Policy Committee today agreed to hold the official cash rate, OCR, at 5.50%. Interest rates are constraining economic activity and reducing inflationary pressure as required. Demand growth in the economy continues to ease. While GDP growth in the June quarter was stronger than anticipated, the growth outlook remains subdued. With monetary conditions remaining restrictive, spending growth is expected to decline further. NZ First Impressions, RBNZ Monetary Policy Review, October 2023 The RBNZ left the OCR unchanged at 5.5% as expected. The tone of the accompanying statement is somewhat more dovish than expected. The RBNZ assessment of the balance of risks looks unchanged from the August statement. We think this means that the RBNZ is less likely to raise the OCR by 25 basis points at the November monetary policy statement than we forecast. Key factors that will determine the probability and size of a November tightening will be the outcome of the Q3 CPI due 17th of October and the Q3 labor market reports due 1st of November. Thank you 